everybody, and welcome to episode 15 of Craft Hags. This is Lauren Urban, or you might know her as Oboe Crazy. She oh, is the one that's usually in the chat making sure you all behave, but today <laughs> she's going to help us decorate some stuff for her outfit. Um, I'm going to take this off now because my face is getting sweaty and I probably look dumb. Yeah, we'll probably have to, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have to like baby powder the inside or something. <laughs> Getting I'll sticky just, face. Just do that. There Ugh. We go. Anyway, well, you look great. Every here, every, stand up. Uh, everybody's. Look at this. I'm so oh excited. no! Oh no! Pelham's having to run for the camera. Oh, now. he's already. We've We're, already we made this. We make this so hard on him. <laughs> anyway, this is what I made for Obo Crazy um, over the last <laughs> week. Um, this is inspired by her bard Aarakocra, um original character named Soria. Awesome. You got all that correct. Cool. Uh, but yeah, she, that's why there's feathers everywhere. She's also supposed to look like an entertainer. And this is what she's going to be wearing to the stream of many eyes, um, which I don't even know how many days are left before that, but not many. Not very few. Pelham's thinking, but <laughs> very few days. But so she's got pants that match. They look great on her. On this tail. is amazing. Yeah, so we've got this nice little... Uh, corsety thing in the back so that if she wants to like loosen it up and make it more cash she totally can but yeah so uh, what we're gonna be doing today is decorating all of her accessories so she has already pre-cut this mask um, this is what they look like when you order them from Amazon Prime they cost like a couple bucks they were super cheap. Yeah. So I so, bought many of them. Yeah, because for, for all the people that are at the D&D &D office right now who want to come in and join us and decorate stuff, we have masks for you. Also, it's, for when I invariably mess this one up. Yeah, we that's can make the other one. thing is y you sometimes want extras because... You know, stuff, stuff happens. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be doing masks today. Also, I got little things because I was like, oh look, she's like naked on the wrists. So, so just to like pull the whole look together. I got a couple things. These are just like pre-made little, uh, I don't know, they're like faux leather wristband things that I got at Joanne's earlier this morning. And they've got, I don't know if you can see, hey Pelham, switch to that up cam. I didn't even notice you have. <laughs> hey look, there's an up cam up there. But yeah, so you can see all these little pre-drilled holes in there. Yeah, this is going to be a great show, you guys. I can already tell. <laughs> But so, uh, they've made it really easy for you to stitch things in, uh, just put things on, and then um, we've got a lot of stuff to decorate with. Also, I figured she would want something for her hair. Um, you've got very short hair, so uh, options are limited. I've, I've uh, had a buzzed head several times, so yeah. I know exactly, like, headbands are kind of your only way to go. Um, I'm also considering doing a, a, a little bit of a dye job. I had my, I had my last uh, on-stage gig this weekend. I've got a couple of other things over the summer, but they're all recording gigs, so I can actually have a little bit of fun. You can be as weird as possible. I, no. I could totally do do something crazy with my hair, but we'll you have were, to see. You were playing a Destiny 2 gig, right? I saw that on, on Twitter, and I was like... <gasps> I wish I was there. But Thank anyway. you, Bungie. Thank you, Lake Washington Symphony Orchestra. It was awesome. Yeah. We raised a whole bunch of money for... Um, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we did. Uh, we do a concert to raise money for another concert we do in the fall that is for uh, kids on the autism spectrum. Oh, wow. Because we do a big free one that you could just come to and we leave the lights on and if kids make noise, it's okay. We do oh, that's like awesome. little tiny short pieces. Yeah, so... And then you get to introduce them to like concert music that aren't, you know... Yeah. It's, it's not like a soundtrack. And the parents yeah, don't have to like be a, like yeah. worried about the kids making yeah, yeah. so it's bungee a was fancy awesome. event that's so no, cool though no, 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 no. i didn't know those existed yeah it's that's becoming amazing. way more popular especially with classical music because the kids want to be able to go but, yeah. but we should go back to this awesome they thing they should do that at like steak restaurants where like Ooh. you would normally have to be really quiet but it's like loud night so you can like you get not only for like the kids but like you can bring your obnoxious girlfriends and just get loud and crazy because that's what I want to do at steak restaurants. <laughs> it doesn't take much. It's literally like don't turn down the lights and be okay with people making noise. Yeah, that's literally you all really it is. Do more of those. Everybody, pay attention to this one. But anyway, uh, <laughs> back to what we're here for. Oh, uh, this. Yes. Oh, this. But so, if you want to choose a headband, uh, I have some like comfier options that are basic, and then we've got tons of stuff to decorate with, Jeez, and literally tons. Hang on, we have feathers. Ooh. We have this kind of feathers. We have uh, more feathers. We probably won't need for a while. Um, 
I brought, I have the glue gun. Let's turn the glue gun on so it's ready for when we. Now that the glue gun's on, I'm gonna take this yeah. off because I am uh, kind of. No, it'll happen. I'm it'll, just gonna it, it'll cause, happen no I'm matter just gonna what. ruin something if we'll, I'm not careful. We'll try not to ruin it. Yeah. Um, but so I brought ribbon that matches your outfit. We have embroidery thread if you wanna tie some stuff on but it'll be visible. Um, I brought these little things. Oh, feather. I brought, I brought these little things. They're just Sorry. more flashy stuff that kind of matches the motif of the jacket. Yeah. Um, this is your clasp, actually, that's going to go on the front right there. We did a fitting earlier this morning where I figured out right where it needs to cinch so that it fits her perfectly. So I'll be installing this later. It's beautiful. And I tried to, like, go with the bird theme, and I was like, oh, birds like shiny things, right? Yeah. So we're just going to cover you in shiny stuff. I can't wait. But so Sorry. here's your... Feather in front of my face. Oh, this is going to be <laughs> such a professional stream. We're going to have feathers in our mouths and it'll be great. I, I'm super excited about making a mess. I don't care. Ooh. Hi everybody in the chat, by the way. Crystal, I see you in there. Um, by the way, I haven't mentioned it in a couple weeks, but Crystal has set up a Discord channel. Uh, usually this is when you would post the link for that. It would be when but, I would copy paste uh, the link. We'll, we'll post it sometime. Uh, I should get my computer no. and I should set it up. <laughs> You're not working. And then I could, I could post you at the same time. You are not working it while we do stuff. It would be super easy, oh except my God. I don't have it set up to the Wi-Fi We will tweet out the link for the Discord channel after the show is over. Um, but that is where a lot of the community and the chat people um, like to hang out and discuss what they're making. You can ask each other questions because I really wish I could uh, sit on my Twitter and talk to all of you guys all the time about all your projects and help you out. But sadly, I have bills to pay and that means I have to work. So um, if you want help with a costume or you just like seeing what other people are doing, that Discord channel is a great place to go. Um, and everybody on there is really nice. Um, so go check it out, you guys. Dyed uh, feathers are not color fast. What does that mean? Um, I think that means they're never going to be the same color. Oh, okay. But, you know, it's white. We don't care. <laughs> that, this is true. Yeah. So much I don't know. So no, much yeah, of this is like, what is this? There's a whole thing with feathers. Like, some, some people really like to get into, like, uh, sustainably sourced feathers. Uh, there are some, I, I know that there are some people who... Uh, have feather farms or some sort of thing like that that don't treat their birds very nicely. So oh. if that's something that worries you, uh, I had very limited resources, so I bought what I could find today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, in the future, if that's something you care about, that's definitely a thing you want to look into. Um, I always like to talk about like the materials we use and where we get them and trying to pay attention as much as possible when you have the time. Um, let's get the scissors out. Sure. Because we have... A bunch of crap to open. Yeah. Ooh, I can smell that glue gun. Oh, Pelham, I'll clean the glue off your table later. I'm sorry. <laughs> or you could just have the glue gun. It's now just a modern like, fixture. You just like rip it off. There yeah. You go. Yeah, it's a it's an art installation. <laughs> I just realized tomorrow Perkins is gonna be in here and there's just gonna be feathers flying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's I hope he's not allergic to feathers. Oh I'm... so what I want you to do first is yes. pick out a headband. Okay. So feel free to try all these on. Some of them are metal, some of them just you know Yeah. It just depends on your head. Maybe this one hurts and the other one doesn't. Yeah, you my, never know. So you try weird. those on. We I also have cuffs for her, so I'll be helping her decorate these today. Um, I guess it depends on what we're going to put on them. I mean, I well, like that's the thing. If I you like, like the this base, yeah. we don't have to do too much to it. Um, but if we obviously if we started with like this one, that needs some dressing up. Yeah, a little more. So why do I feel like I'm putting this on wrong? It there goes behind go. your ears. There we if go. That's, uh, and then scoot it forward, like that. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Your hair kind of fluffs up and it's hard to see. So maybe that's my hair. We, uh, since these are so low profile, let's not use the metal ones and then go for one of the plastic. Yeah, go for one of the the plastic ones because then we can. That actually looks better. Let's scoot it forward just a little. But yeah, then it doesn't matter if we can't see it. We'll just put big stuff on it like there you this. Go. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, now when I was thinking about dyeing my hair, I was thinking about doing uh, tips of it and it was gonna be like a blue a or- A silver blue? A, that, that would be the hope. I mean, I've got dark hair, so it's gonna be up to yeah, what can actually have to happen. Yeah, first, but- Yeah. Hey, that's all good. So it's like, what color do I want? What color might actually happen? Yeah. Because, you know, hair. Yeah. Hair is you weird. No. Although the white one's a little more comfortable. Yeah, I mean- Yeah. That's yeah. the, that's the real the real important thing is which one are you going to want to wear for a long time for three days? Yeah, so I'll In put all these LA. away. Steal your scissors. And yeah, take off cut the... the tags off that. Yeah. So now we've got um, we've got this stuff is straight. It's the exact same stuff from your coat. So if you want it to match your coat exactly, we can figure out how to use these. Okay. Um, then I've also got some bigger things that, where'd you put the scissors? Ah, uh, that's okay. I hid them. I kind of like the idea of, of feathers and, you know, for, because I've got this, this big awesome collar that you did. Mm -hmm. So like doing more feathers, yeah, like a headdress like, kind of thing. Yeah, we can. Would uh, complement pretty well. Raise your silhouette. And as a shorter person, like putting tall things on your head, it helps, you know? Yeah. Not that you need to be taller, but it, you can pull it off. like. If you if you put big tall things on an already tall person, you're gonna be like, oh, oh god, you've got room, is what I'm saying. I, I have profile room. <laughs> I'm I'm okay with this silhouette room. Absolutely, that's fine. So yeah, I, I so wanted to. So we're gonna to... throw garbage all over Pelham's room because he doesn't I'm have sorry. a trash okay, can wait, in no. here yet. My guilt just immediately kicked in. I threw that, and then I was like, oh. Huh, don't feel guilty. This is his job, is to clean up after us. No, no, that <laughs> he's is. Like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, sure. He's so nice. So yeah, if you want to. Um, I immediately uh, went for the feathers. Okay. I immediately was so just we'll like, get feathers. we're just gonna get feathers I really, everywhere. I really like. Let's see what this one looks like on the. Ooh, Pelham, what do you think? What do you think, Pelham? I like it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Pelham likes it. We're going so for it. So if we like angle it this way on your head, okay, then it sticks out front ways, and then you can do even more in like like behind it. Ooh. So yeah, because uh, you've got some of these that are kind yeah, of an off white that might work really well behind yeah, it. Yeah, and then we've got like some other things that we could like layer on top. And the cool thing about hot glue is like, yeah, it's flat, but like. The cool thing about we can, hot glue. The, stop it. <laughs> we can like pile it on and then kind of stick it in and make it angle whichever way we want just because it's thick and it'll dry hard. So um, okay. we don't, we're not limited to like flat on flat shapes is what I'm saying. I know I'm not doing a very good job of explaining myself. No, that but, makes total <laughs> sense. You're building up a base yeah. and the base doesn't necessarily have to be just a layer. It can right, be yeah. a chunk. We can, ooh, or. <gasps> Oh, wait, Dude. she's discovered something. What if we twist it like that? Ooh. God damn it, that's beautiful. All right, let's do it. Okay. Do it, do it, do it. So I'm just gonna, if you wanna start looking at stuff to put on your mask too, we'll kind of do all this at the same time so that they're cohesive. Yeah. So let's put, let's move all our decor garbage over there. And we'll put your cuffs here. I kind of like the idea of having these things on your cuffs hmm. and then we can, um, use the blue uh, to sew in, or um, we've got ribbon that we can just glue on top so that you don't see the black at all, and then we've got the silver if you want to add more yeah. just sparkle to it. But it's totally up to you. If you'd rather have just ribbon, uh, I kind of like like the, the the plain leather cuff with just like something, yeah. you know, maybe just some ribbon or something on it. Mm -hmm. um, because I think that'd be cool, and then it's not getting in my way when I'm right, when I am performing. Yeah. So, oh. do you want to just tell them what you're doing? Well, I'm playing the oboe on stream. Spoiler I mean, it's, alert! It's oboe be... crazy's playing the oboe yeah. I on even... stream of many eyes. And that's one of the reasons why, like, if if you notice my my mask, I because it had to be cut down because I have to stick an oboe there, and yeah. so the the regular mask when I put on was. It's a little it's too long. It's a little long. obnoxious. It's, there, there were going to be read problems. <laughs> it was going to be like, yes, I'm a professional, and then I was going to be like very carefully putting the oboe in my mouth. So, mm -hmm. so that's why there have been considerations about uh, 
where stuff can be and free flowing. And then also the, the mask thing helps a lot because then I can't put anything on my lips and I can't put anything on my yeah, hands because your, your makeup options are pretty uh, limited. Sadly, when you have to do stuff like that. Yeah, a little bit, but but that doesn't mean you can't still have a lot of fun. And I might yeah. still come up with a makeup base because yeah, the this oh just broke on me. We'll oh, we can it glue back it back on. on. It's okay. Yeah, but like this, we had them on for a little bit, and it was a little warm. So. Yeah, they also have, um, and this is something we can do. We can uh, cover it in a fabric that matches your coat or your pants, that and that way it would also absorb sweat on your forehead. Because <laughs> <laughs> usually, what you do is if you're making a mask and it's got something hard and plastic or just uncomfortable, you get what's called moleskin. Okay. And it's like. I don't even know what you'd usually use it for, but you get it at like the pharmacy, and uh, it, it's just like a sticky piece of cloth that kind of feels like suede, um, and it's like skin colored usually. I I honestly maybe don't know what you put up this for, but like bandages and things. Like maybe if yeah. If you've got a wound that you've got a big bandage over, and maybe it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Someone in the chat knows. Hey, hey let what's us know. Skin for what is it for? Except for tell us, okay. Putting all over the mask so that it doesn't get all sticky. And, and they're still talking about dyeing hair in there. Yeah. <laughs> they're not paying attention. Hey, if anyone has any suggestions for where to go to get my hair dyed in Seattle, because I've never done that before. <laughs> I actually couldn't even help you out with that because I do my own hair, like all the time. <laughs> if I had light hair like yours, that could... well, no, I have your color hair. I just bleach it and then uh, tone it and uh, do all the things. All the things. Do all the things. Yeah. See, I'm I spend afraid... way too much time trying to figure out how to make my hair look good. So just go to somebody else and let them do it. I... It's way easier. Literally, it's less about the that the easiness and more about the I'm afraid if I bleach it and I've never done that before. Like, um, yours looks great because obviously you know what you're doing. I don't. And well, I didn't know what I was doing for a while, so y you do have to just ruin your hair once or twice to figure <laughs> it out. I'll be honest. Or or we can go to a professional, like, could pay a little extra. Probably and be like, hey, just don't, good. just, just, just make know. sure it's not going to fall out. Yeah. Ooh. So try that on. Yes. Oh man, it's so floofy. Oh, and it like I have to you wait can see it. in the stream for like yeah. the 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 delay to show up so I can see yeah. what it looks like. It's like a ten and second. So hey. now you've seen it that way. Now turn around and just pose. And I'll and look back, <laughs> and we can see what it looks like. I feel a little bit like Talib I'm going to a bat. I love it. <laughs> like I'm going to a bat mitzvah Are you ready? or something. Ready like to go. there it is. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh yeah, I like how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. that. Like that. Like that. It's, it's swirly. <laughs> okay, so. I need to use the glue gun again, so I'm going to yeah, glue here. this back on, because then I think I like the idea of like putting, um, coloring the mask so there's mm -hmm. not like an obvious white mask. Yeah, we definitely want to cover up that Amazon plastic Yeah, look. but you know, that, that just means we have a nice base that I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to try to do this without totally killing myself. It is a high temperature gun, so make sure it does not touch you when it's still wet. Yeah, good to know. All <laughs> right. I have blistered my fingers many times. Yeah, the, the closest I ever get to doing anything, uh, oh, okay, there we go. Crafty is making oboe reeds, and that just involves knives. Just knives. Just knives. No but deal. knives are, um, like, people use knives all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, you go into the kitchen, you use knives. It's yeah. not like, you know, glue guns are, are a specialized thing. Whew, that's a smell. Yeah, it's a smell. It's a smell. <laughs> oh. We're just stinking up Pelham's booth Sorry, here Greg. Sorry, and Pelham. And, like, throwing trash everywhere. I like it, though. It's fun. Yeah. Is it on? I think I'm going to have to tack it down even more. Just to, I just am being super careful about. That's okay. And then I think I'll do it Here, on the if, other side. If somebody gets burnt, I'd prefer it be me. I'd so. prefer it be nobody. No, <laughs> I'd prefer nobody get hurt. <laughs> okay. I know. That's I'm, no fun. No, it's not. I actually sliced my finger open last week and Ooh. promised them a scar. It's already healed, though. I'm sorry. It didn't even scar over. Well, that's good. Scars Somebody are not fun. said, "Did Pelham ever get his pedicure?" <gasps> Last week we were joking about pedicure. Oh, not yet. No. Maybe next week on Craft Tags. Just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Next week on Craft Tags, I'll actually be at home and not here. And the following week, but then the last three episodes of Craft Tags, and you guys still need to hit me up with ideas on Twitter. 
uh, either tag at Craft Tags or at Danny Hartel, um, which is me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we have three episodes we need to fill, and we won't be working on costumes anymore. So I know, for one, we're at least going to paint minis, and Pelham is going to do that with us. So get excited. Oh, that's uh, awesome. I think Kate's going to be here, too, to, and we're just going to paint minis like that we find around the office. Like, just Can I come? minis. Yes! Can I just sit please. over on the side, and I'll like moderate on the computer, and then everyone will paint Maybe we should do several episodes of mini painting. So that like we're not piling twelve people in here to paint minis. Maybe we should just have twelve know. people in here. Why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, maybe that does sound awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. And every once in a while, one of us can just go look. Look at this. Look. Actually, that sounds perfect. Yep. You're in, but oh wait, they just didn't. They just reminded me that we're doing snack hags for the last episode. So we need to figure out yes. what your favorite D and D snacks would be. I'm gonna dress up as Scrummy for the very last episode of Craft Hags, so you all can see how weird it ended up looking. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna cook That's or awesome. make snacks, and I'll be right here in the studio. So it's gonna be some sort of simple snack, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, no warm snacks. No, no cooked snacks. Uh, well, Scrummy wouldn't have. No, I'll just bring in some dried mushrooms and be like, here, it's a snack. <laughs> That's what and then, we eat. <laughs> you get Holly to come on in, yeah. and she can bring her the, the her other snacks. Her other snacks, they'd be great. Whatever they are. The, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just leave this in the middle. Actually, hang on. Pelham, don't get scared. I'm gonna run around a little bit. Oh God. It's gonna be weird. I'm scared. Ah. I'm scared. Here, actually, can I hand that to you? Yeah. We're gonna put it through the table so that it's in front of us where we want. I gotta back in here with my mic again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cause I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, We're good. now that this is on there, I'm just gonna tack this down. So what do you wanna do as far as the rest of this? Do you want me to um, build up some feathers? Yeah, uh, I like the idea of, of the headdress idea. Cool. And then the, we can keep the mask kind of simple and I don't have to worry about yeah, that's you know, true. doing too much on the mask, which could get heavy anyway, but. How about this right here Ooh. to cover up this ugly thing? <laughs> <laughs> Although I think my hair will do that, but that looks cool. Because that way it's gonna like floof out the the side like that. Oh yeah. So it'll give you all that height, and then it looks good from the outside, and then we can build up more feathers inside here. Yeah, to cover up that bit, and also yeah, and then floof out. I can wrap this in ribbon too, so that it's not white. Unless you don't mind it white, it does look nice. I don't mind that white because that looks nice. I'm, yeah, I'm hoping to cover up. That's an ugly white, yeah. I kind of want to paint it, but I don't know if you can paint this plastic. Um, it would probably flake off like mm -hmm. every time it bends. Um, and there'd be a lot of bending every time I put it yeah, on. Yeah, so. I, I don't know. So here, let's, let's get you set up with some fabric. Okay. So that you can cover that up. And hey, I'm going to sit down and then yeah. Pelham's going to have to readjust the camera. Sit down. Sorry, Pelham. Blame Tito. Blame Tito. For Pelham having to adjust the camera. <laughs> Tito's at his desk like, I feel someone blaming me. I feel it. I feel really bad if every time someone hashtag blamed Tito, if he felt it, because. Oh, when I hashtag blame Tito, I tag Greg Tito. <laughs> you hashtag and it. at? Yeah, I do. Oh, no. I sure do. Wow, this takes a long time to dry. Yeah, or maybe just it. put a lot. So how do you suggest tacking it down? Because I'm not mm. sure how to put it on so that it doesn't eh, wrinkle. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. Sound effects. Sound effects are necessary? Absolutely. So I'm just gonna cut you like a big piece like this. Okay. And then I think what we'll do here is uh, Oh, okay. One so, big piece tacked down and then cut around. So I think what we'll do is like snip little holes for where we know the eyes are gonna go. Mm -hmm. And then that way we can cut them a little better, but like, let's okay. just start, let's start on the back here. This is gonna be the trick is you kinda, you wanna keep as much glue out from underneath the fabric on the front, cause it'll just look bumpy and gross. Spotty, yeah. So let's just do a little dot right here. And then mm -hmm. fold it over. My glue gun was slipping. 
No fires. So yeah, this will... No burning, no fires. That would be a great episode, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be the last episode. <laughs> Pelham's like, no! And now for the series Please finale of Craft Hacks. don't put anything on fire. No. No fires. Okay, so if you, you want to like, hold that like that, and then I once that, that dries, we'll be able to stretch it over the front a ah. lot easier. And then we'll do the bottom, and then we'll do the eyes and all that. Yeah. So you hold that for a sec. I will, I'm I will gonna sit here and hold. Hold. Am I looking at the right camera? No, it's the one over there, isn't it? It's, it's, oh, it's the big one now? The okay. big one? <laughs> I will just. Just look off into the distance. We're in like a movie. <laughs> we're in an old school perfume commercial. <sighs> That's what we're supposed to do, right? <laughs> I don't know. Every don't time know. I've come in here, I've been, I've been, I've been doing D and D stuff. So I've, I've been doing a lot of. Well, now you make your acting debut. I know. As a crafting person. Exactly. I'm expanding my repertoire. <laughs> that sounds fancy. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything that said in a French accent sounds fancy. Ooh, that looked good. I kind of figured this is what Quite I was going to be doing anyway. That I really shouldn't be doing the crafting. <laughs> I should be doing the holding <laughs> and the assisting. No. You are making a lot of decisions for me, which makes my job easier. And, and you are making them actually happen <laughs> and look good. <laughs> I'm just used to doing it very quickly, that's all. <laughs> well, but that kind of thing comes with, with practice. It does. So, you know, anything that you do. Lots of frenzied, angry practice. <laughs> lots of doing it over and over again, and then sometimes not having enough In time. Hurry, yeah. Well, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. What, the more you do it, the there, more you can do it quickly. There are more beads in these little things than I thought there were until they're everywhere. Where, where did they even come? Well, so like, oh. they came on the, th I don't know. They came from they came the, from the All right, maybe packaging. we don't use those then if they're gonna be. <laughs> they're just gonna be beads all over the studio. <laughs> and Everybody's gonna be like, what are they doing? Okay, that feels they good? dry and hard. So now yeah, maybe it's... go around the corner here and. So let's, let's start by trimming it now that we have a spot that holds itself together. Okay. So we'll lay that out flat, and we're just going to push it along. I was going to say, I don't think I... No, I missed the little... <laughs> the eye oh, holes? Oh, God, yeah, the eye hole. That's okay. I'm sure it'll get covered with something decorative. Mm. So as long as we know that it's going to fit... With enough room to fold underneath. Yeah, okay. so we're just going to get rid of a lot of this excess right now because it'll be easier to work with. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> Step four, throw that on the ground too. That so, was actually yeah. fun. I want to do that again. When it's, <laughs> when it's like a chiffon, it's like dramatic. And now it's in the corner and I feel bad. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, that didn't last Don't long. feel bad. That's We're going to be throwing late. things everywhere for the next uh, hour and a half. It's already been a half an hour. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know, right? So as long as we can like kind of hold it where it's going to go, and then we know that none of this is going to be in danger. Okay. Yeah. So we know it's going to cover all the way around. We're good. Yeah. So now I think... We keep tacking? We keep tacking... So I, I it ended up a little crooked right there, and our little eye hole is off. But I think no matter what happens right there, there's going to be... Yeah, there will be something right there. So we're yeah. going to try just... again with these eye holes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to cut little holes. Do we want to... So then when they fold in, oh, we're going to have okay. to be kind of careful about how much we cut. Mm. Because you want to fold them in and around, and tack around. on the back. Yeah, because yeah. you definitely don't want to see any white because you didn't give yourself enough room. And, you know, if we mess this up, we've got four more to, we've got plenty. to try. So let's, if you want to put a little dot of glue right about there and then fold the... And then do the eye hole? Yeah, so... So like that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Here, why I'll do you it, and you and I'll be hold. prepped. Just be careful. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. Have the medics on standby. <laughs> Dangerous mask decoration. 
So here we go. Let's see what else we can. While you hold that. Well, while I vanna this. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I don't know. We like keeping this white. So. Yeah, because um, then it'll it'll blend with the rest of the feathers. It yeah. won't look um, so so out of place. Yeah. And I was worried about this uh, canvas thing being visible, but when it's on your head, nah. your hair sticks up enough that way that you're not going to see it, and these feathers will kind of fall towards it anyway, so I don't think we need to worry about it. Otherwise, uh, I'd probably like coat it in ribbon or something so that we can't see it, but I think we're okay. I think you're do right. Do you, I mean, how much more do you want? I mean, do you want to put more feathers here and make Ooh. it huge? Because we totally can. And so, like, if we do that, we probably don't need anything over here. Yeah. And then that way it's just nice and... I feel, I feel like if this stream isn't the reason to go huge... Yeah, you're be, right. ...and be ostentatious and crazy, then why not? Well, then let's get the freaking feathers out here. Let's do this. Let's do it. Well, well I'm going to watch you do it as I continue to hold. Hold. Yeah, then, let me know when that's ready. Oh, look at this. Some of these are big. Well, I was reading on the back. Apparently, they can be bent and... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Glue. Ah. Oh, there it's we go. stuck to me. Eh, hot glue everywhere. <laughs> They're going to demand that I don't use this studio ever again. <laughs> <laughs> There's hot glue and beads and feathers and garbage. Oh. And then we'll just have to invite them to come to the mini painting. Yeah. So everyone, everyone who is, you know, comes yeah. in. If you're angry about this, just come join us. Mike Merles, <laughs> your happy fun hour would be so much more fun if afterwards it could be a, a mini painting. Yeah. Come join us for mini painting. All right, join that's us. pretty dry. So do kind of the same thing with the other eye or yeah. keep doing this eye. Let's do this one again. Or okay. let's do the same thing on the opposite eye so okay. that we're not... Um, so that one eye doesn't look great, and then we're like, oh shit, the other eye is totally not doable now, because <laughs> that's happened to me a lot. That, that, those are my eyes. That's <laughs> yeah. just how my eyes work. Yeah. That's, that's Here's the a way of eyes. Bard. Ooh, yeah. Oh, well, no, that would be annoying. <laughs> I'm like, as a, like the role player is like, oh yeah, one eyed bard, that could yeah. be really cool. And then, like, she's a bird, but she's got one eye, so you got the depth perception. That could be really interesting. That'd but be then, funny. over three, three days of like yeah, an eye patch, trying no. to nah. make that work. Nope. Okay, so. I just talked myself out of a role playing opportunity. <laughs> hey, it happens. <laughs> Do that. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use three of these long silver feathers to be like your, ew, that one's ugly. No? I don't want that one. Well, I'm trying to find the best feathers here. This was like a $2 package of feathers, so. That's all right. Uh, not, <laughs> that's, the, that's kind of the thing too, is I haven't really talked about this, but I, because I was doing this in a week and I was starting, um, from a hotel again, room. No, I'm happy to do it. I really want you to have something special to wear. And I will. Yeah, and you will. And well, I mean, thank you. But <laughs> and <laughs> just it's patting the truth. myself on the back here. But no, like I, I had uh, just come into Seattle. I don't live in Seattle yet. I, um, I'll be moving there soon. But I'm in a hotel room for three weeks while my husband works. Um, and. I knew I would be making this costume, so I brought my serger and I brought my sewing machine with me and like some scissors, obviously, and like the glue gun. But the rest of it, I basically had to find the nearest fabric store, which was awesome because there's actually a Pacific Fabrics like uh, 500 feet from my hotel room. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So I was like, I'm just gonna see what I can make and how good I can make it uh, with whatever they have and like obviously it's a inner city craft store They're not gonna have like a plethora of feathers to choose from. I don't so, know. They had quite a bit they, so. well, I, I bought everything they had so um, yeah. But yeah, like I, I wanted to just and same with the fabric like I didn't know what kind of fabric they would have obviously I would have been like oh like a nice uh, chiffon with an iridescent you know, thing to, it would have been like my my first pick, but you know, they had what they had and it it looks awesome. And like, yeah. honestly, this is like the cheapest like tablecloth fabric I've ever used in my life. But like, 
but it's you all know, shiny. It's and shiny, and we can figure out how to dress it up and make it look good. And like, it's a little bit of an insult to you being like, "I'm gonna use the garbagiest stuff I can find." No, <laughs> but like, like I wanted the challenge because like a lot of the people in the chat. You know, they don't have a huge budget to make a big costume, and nobody's paying them to do it. They're doing it for themselves, and I kind of wanted to challenge myself, because I usually have a bigger budget for these kinds of things. Yeah. Um, because I'm doing it for a company. But, like, I really wanted to do, like, the ultimate, you know, bargain <laughs> costume, I guess, and just see how good we could get it. And I feel like it turned out pretty well. Um, I love it, and I don't think it looks cheap at all. And here's I think the that's, other thing. that's the talent behind it. Oh, thanks. Well, here's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. I haven't even mentioned this to you yet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Surprise time. Um, so, when you make a costume, uh, it's going to look very clean. And the people, on, the people that watch craft tags a lot will understand. Uh, when I say that it's very important to distress your costume so that it looks lived in, and especially for a character like Scrummy who lives in the Underdark and serves Zugtmoy, she's going to look fungal and disgusting, and we know, like, we can pile on the grime and the dirt, but even for, like, an entertainer, um, having this costume, it's brand new fabric, brand new everything, it looks like I mean, it, it, I hate to say, like, it looks like a cheap Halloween costume, but it kind of does. And, like, the way you would get around that is by distressing it. And even though you are a show person type character, you, you want to look beautiful and entertaining and, you know, like... But she's not rich. Nice to look at, you know, but that's the other thing is, like, is this, like, from the king's court? Is everybody, like, freshly showered? Oh, or no. is this, like, a street person bard who goes from tavern to tavern, you know, picking up coins for their songs sort of thing? Those people might look a little more lived in, you know? I don't want to oh, say yeah. dirty, but... Dirty. <laughs> lived in so, is, I think, a, a really appropriate term. Lived in is good. I'm going to wear this because it's exciting me. But so what we can do to make this look a little less like a brand new circus costume <laughs> is we can use paint to, like, we would, what we would do is water down some paint. Okay. Like some black paint, say, um, or if you really wanted to look dirty, I would say like browns. Okay. But we're, we're, we're hoping to add a little bit of like a dimension of shadow to, you know, all the seams, you know, just where dirt would have collected. Yeah, sure. Um, like an acrylic paint? Yeah, like an acrylic paint. So okay. it would just like seep into the fabric and uh, you wouldn't be able to wash it in the washing machine anymore. Well, that was going to be my other question. That's the How thing. How do I clean well, this? So, Here's a cosplay secret. Get I know me. a lot of people who have really intense costumes that you definitely couldn't ever get wet. And that's the thing. is The you feathers. Can, the feathers, you, you can't really put this in the washing machine. Yeah. Um, you could probably soak it in a bathtub to okay. wash it, but even then, it's like, do I have a bathtub? A lot of people don't, you know? like. But what you can do is take, uh, like, deodorant spray or Lysol or just any sort of, like, thing that you would spray on fabric to kill germs. Okay. And like a Febreze kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can Febreze your costume. And, I mean, if you, like, pissed yourself, obviously, please well, don't just spray Febreze on it. No. But no, it, assuming nobody here is going to have accidents in their costumes. No. Let, let us be positive about this. That, I'm going to sweat. <laughs> Febreze will be fine. Okay. I mean, like... That's good to know. Like, also... I don't know, like if I take a really in, like intense headache medicine, I will sweat like poison garbage smelling sweat, which is oh, yeah, yeah, a whole yeah. other thing. And, you know, performer sweat is a different kind of sweat than like, so sometimes it's a little more nasty. We're getting graphic in here, aren't we? No, but this is This like, is real. <laughs> I was super duper wanted to ask about that because I know nothing about cosplay and costuming. And yeah. the only interactions I've ever had has been with um, operas and ballet companies. And they have a, first off, they're making their stuff out of, um, and nylons and cottons, mm -hmm. and they have a suite of people whose job it is after to shows. To take care of it. Yeah, to like um, steam clean <laughs> stuff. Handle it. <laughs> yeah, like with professional yeah. steam cleaners and yeah. um, uh, 
you know, doing it all that way, and that's obviously not something I can do. Now, mm -hmm. maybe when you get to the level of, you know, being able to do your own costuming and do cosplay and stuff, maybe you, you that's one of the things you go out and buy. But I had no idea, yeah. and I'm like, I'm if I'm going to be wearing this costume for three days, I need to make sure that by day two, people still want to be around me. Yeah, uh, so I would just say Febreze. Um, I mean, okay. if you've got, like, really sensitive skin, obvi like, Febreze isn't something I could do in, like, my armpit areas, because when I put that back on, my body would be like, what are you doing to me? This is awful poison. Yeah. But, like... Um, if it's not right up against your skin, like if you have an undershirt on, you don't really need to worry about it. Um, That's the just, plan. And, but, but like also, if you just don't have sensitive skin, then like none of this matters. Uh, I don't, but it's good for people who do. Yeah, I have the most sensitive skin in the world, and my body would be like, Febreze is a no. Please don't like, ever stop. again. Stop, yeah. stop, 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 stop. Please stop, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I don't have sensitive skin, but I also don't normally spray myself down with Febreze. So who right. knows? Maybe maybe I'll <laughs> Maybe it's a, it's a new discovery you'll make. Yeah, so it's like, oh wait, Febreze is my body's line. So yeah, I'll maybe I'll go get some of that or but some, I'm you know, sure like a fabric. They've got, like organic and natural deodorizing things. I'm positive. sprays, you know. Okay. Well, that is good to know because I wanted to make sure that ooh. I didn't ooh, ooh. Worst discovery I've made is there are monsters out there who make scented toilet paper. Thank you, Dr. Cantrell. Yeah, I've that heard a, of that. That is a good uh, discovery yeah. to share with the rest of us. I didn't That's, know that. No, Ooh. I knew. I remember hearing about that. Um, coffee. Why? <laughs> Why? Toilet paper? I love coffee. That's not something that should smell like coffee. <laughs> and if you've had enough coffee, it's going to anyways. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is incredibly true. <laughs> I'm just blowing out the mic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not gross, guys. I'm normal. No, this is totally normal. Absolutely. <laughs> so I we're think not we're... the ones buying coffee toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think this is ready. If, unless you want more feathers, that's well, the thing. Is like, let's see what the let's put it on you. The chat says. We'll, uh, we'll do the 10 second test. Do we think left or right, or does it not matter? Either way. It probably does not matter. Honestly, either way. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Now slide it a little forward. There you go. Okay. So uh -huh. look in the mirror. Yeah, and then turn around so you can turn see yourself. Around. And now we're going to... we got a 10 second delay to check it out. It looks great right now. And the turn around. Yeah. It's got like a Vegas showgirl vibe, and yeah, I love it. Yeah, it does. It's a little bit of the Vegas... Have you ever dressed like a showgirl before? <laughs> Now you're gonna. Now. <laughs> this will be as close as I will come. So I think we'll leave it alone because it's pretty. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one. Let's just do one. We'll find the biggest. Because we've got these like pokey ones that kind of stick up. But yeah. I really like these like. The oh, fluffies. The fluffies. Yeah. The I'm fluffies still are so peaty. very slowly, methodically no, okay. failing miserably at eyes. No, it so. actually, I really like how you can see the fabric. Like. Yeah, I figure puckering. It looks nice. Yeah, there's just no way to hide that it's gonna be fabric, so I right. might as well just enjoy it. Yeah, and there's no way to get it flat oh, unless no. you like spent twelve days like figuring out exactly how to fold that like just origami pattern making crap. And mean, we don't have time for that. If you did that, because yeah. you could probably do that. I don't I, want to though. It's, I, no, you don't it want. It looks great. I don't think you. It you really does. Should and yeah, I, there'd be no way I could do that even with twelve days. So. I'm just gonna keep tacking and try not to Go burn anything. Go for it. So I'm gonna put one that kind of sticks out front ways a little bit, just so it's even more obnoxious. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. all the obnoxious. All the obnoxious, please. I'm gonna try to fold this over without burning myself, oh God! Uh, oh. You can't always put the glue on and then wait like a good 30 seconds and then shove the fabric in. Yeah. Um, if that helps. That's kind of what I'm, I'm doing here. Cool, yeah. I figured you had figured out a system. Well. You're doing good, so. So far the system is great. don't burn myself. Yeah. Uh, You're doing it. I found the, the eye hole. Oh. The extra eye hole. Maybe I can just glue that shut. Yeah, we can, we can totally just kind of tack that shut. Yeah. That can be fixed. Mm-hmm. I wish I had like a Q-tip or a little piece of um, like something small and thin so I could put 
the glue on it and then stick oh, it in the like hole. like a small applicator. Like an applicator. Here. Do we have... Um, let's find an awful feather. Oh, yeah. Give me one of the... The garbage. The nasty ones. This one is ugly as crap. Oh, jeez, yeah. It doesn't deserve to oh. live anymore. There is some costume out there that this would be perfect for. Oh yeah, for. no, like for sure. If if there was like a kinku that was homeless or something, it'd be or great. If I was an Aarakocra who just had lived a really rough life. Yeah. The maybe, roughest maybe of Maybe you Aarakocra just life. got done with a fight. And then you're like <laughs> This is perfect. Oh, now there's going to be bits of feather everywhere. There already are. We've ruined the studio. It's done. Done. We're doing our jarbs. Oh, poor Greg. <laughs> He's going to come in here and be like, <laughs> what is going on? Right, do that, and then I'm going to... Oh, God. Sure they're not talking about coffee paper more. Oh, it's the chat. They talk so about nothing chat. but lovely things. Nothing but lovely things. <laughs> Usually, I should know. You would know. I should know. Cool. So I think this headband's just about dry. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, that is that is something. I'm covered in glue. I'm gonna wear it because it's pretty. It's very pretty. It's and you pretty. can be a show Vegas showgirl. I am a Vegas showgirl every day. What? Okay, so we wanted to do small things on your wrists, right? I made this worse. I made it worse. I made it worse. <laughs> I made no, it it's worse. Okay. Look, here's what we're gonna do. I made it worse. So because you can see the glue, we're just gonna take a little square. Okay. All right. And rip it apart. We're gonna make a patch. Yeah, we're gonna patch it. Okay. We'll see if this works. If it doesn't work, then I'm ripping it off. We'll and be starting again. a new mask. It's okay. Just go beep, beep, beep. Do you have to make the beep noise? You have to. Okay, good to know. Right. We want to kind of push it in to the little crevices. My stomach's growling. Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I did. I super did hear that. Yeah, no, I'm. my stomach lets everyone know when I'm hungry. We need to get you some food. I'll get food after this. So that's not bad. So all we'll have to do is cut off the little parts that aren't laying down. That aren't paying attention to what we want them to do. Yeah. There we go. You fixed it. <laughs> it's kind of the fun part about these like, um, like patternless fabrics that are metallic and stuff is like, you totally can't even see it. Oh no. <laughs> like, and no. like nobody's gonna be like, hey, I see a discrepancy here. <laughs> and if they do, then I will say it's all my fault. Everything awesome on here is what no, Danny did. You'll be like, you'll be like, in character and saying, how dare you insult this? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever your character does, just make it your character's problem, and then make your character deal with it. And listen, then listen, that's my face. Person, yeah. It's totally my face. Why are you making fun of my face? Yeah, I don't understand. Why are you doing it's just that? my face. It's my so mom funny. likes my face. <laughs> that's sorry, she just talks really fast. <laughs> that's perfect. And then the person who pointed it out will be like, never mind, it's fine. Yep, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up now. <laughs> Go away. Go, Go away. away. Just my face. Leave my face alone. Okay, so. Guilt is always the answer. Okay. We wanted to keep these pretty clean, you said, right? Yeah, I mean. Because they I... are near where you're working with your hands. And I do kind of like the whole leather wrist wrap aesthetic yeah, thing. Yeah, it looks I think that good. Because be, that would definitely be something that sh she would do. Yeah, why not? Cool. So yeah, do you want, do you want like one piece of jewelry, no jewelry? I'd we say, can focus on ribbon. Yeah, let's say no jewelry, but the ribbon. The color okay. is nice. Yeah, let's add the blue there. So um, do you think? Every once in a See, while, the I thing think. Here, but shh. often it's it's really <laughs> disappointing when I do. So, like with the ribbon, what we could either do is like we could tie a bow, but I'm kind of feeling like that might be a little too girly. Um, yeah. For your character, uh, what if we did like stripes like this? Oh. And then like we we leave a little bit of the black, so it'll be like black blue, black blue, black blue. Yeah. And then that way you just have some color around your wrists. Yeah. And then even if you wanted to. We could do another strip like this, 
so that your stripes look like that if Ooh. you wanted to like tie it in with the rest. Um, but that's up to you. If you want to like tone down the sparkles, we can totally just leave it blue. Let's try it with just the blue. Okay. And see. Yeah, we'll, see we'll how do that a looks. test, see how it looks. Meanwhile, I'm going to ruin this eye. Oh, don't I'll... be afraid. Oh, I'm not afraid. I, I'm just, uh, I'm confident in my inability. <laughs> I'm confident I will ruin it. Yep. I'm pessimistic in my optimism. <laughs> Okay. And then, and then, and then. So I cut that a little too long. Yep. There you go. There you Oops. go. Ha. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Ow. That's glue. That's hot glue. Hi, that's hot glue. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Just, just scream through the pain. <laughs> It'll be fine. Very quietly. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. So I would normally like sew this stuff on, but it doesn't even matter. That stuff is like, ow, that's warm. That's warm glue. <laughs> Join me in ow, 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 Quiet pain. Quiet pain. Yes. These lines are really ow, nice though, because <laughs> I can see that I'm doing it perfectly square. Like if I just keep them in line with the little oh, dots. Yeah. <laughs> cheats. No, 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 it's not cheats. It's it is. not crafts if it doesn't hurt. Yeah, somebody said that last week too. What is your name? Uh, C mid or fatty. Your name Com is hard to say, is person. That commander. Co no. <laughs> C M I. We are both D so blind. R F I. No, T I. Oh, okay. I don't know how to say that, but you're right. <laughs> I I wish you weren't right, but you are. I, I would like to say no pain good, but sadly the answer is no pain. Yeah, that's normally what happens. Yeah, that's the way it works. It works that uh, way. Okay. Let that dry just a second. Just a second, and then burn myself. All right, here we go. It's warm. It's super, super warm. It's like it came out of a hot glue gun it's or something. It's like it's molten glue or something. It's like we turned it into lava. <laughs> yeah, go, that'll go. look really nice. Oh yeah, just two enough sparkle. Cute little and then old time with things. The mask. Yeah, exactly. Which is slowly getting there. Yeah, look at there. My stomach we, is just. Uh, we really need to get you a snack. Making it known. I'm fine. I uh, I had a large breakfast. I don't know why it needs more things yet. Stomach. It's like you're working or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You're gonna do this. You're gonna do this. It's gonna gonna happen. It's gonna. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I'm just like I'm kind of glad that I'm introducing you to the pain of making things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I doubt that you're unfamiliar. With it's, the pain of making things, but... Oh, God, I'm, uh, there's, like, there's strands of glue everywhere, and it's like spider webs. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's a different kind They're of everywhere. pain, that's, that's for sure. It's, it's a frustrating pain. It's a, <laughs> it's a slow-burning pain of hot glue. There we go. Now, like, I make my own oboe reeds, but that is yeah. all, that's just knives. That's just, you are well, either I mean, like, fine you or... You get used to it, and, like, you yeah. know, at some point it becomes familiar... And not ow as hard. Yeah. Oh, I totally just glued the table. <laughs> Pelham right. left, so now we're uh, <laughs> ow unsupervised. Word. Guys, what should we do while we're in here? I'm still wearing this. I just looked at the. <laughs> it looks awesome though. It does look awesome. It just doesn't. Oh, it does match my outfit. Yeah. I'll leave just, it on, I you guess. Just have to wear it around I mean, the I'm office now. I'm gonna be jealous, now. like watching you wear it because I'm going to look like a hideous little gnome all weekend. Or I'm going to be <laughs> like, like I'm excited. You. Yeah, like your <laughs> scrummy is so awesome. I'm excited to be scrummy in front of people for a, a weekend. All <laughs> it's right. It's going to be great. I've got eyes. We're getting there. Yeah. I've got eyes. Look at that. Okay. I will in about 10 seconds. Yeah. Hey, uh, Dr. Cantrez asks, are the reeds bamboo? Uh, no, uh, but you are thinking about the right kind of plant. So it's a type of bamboo that's normally grown in the south of France. Oh God, I've just turned craft tags into no, do it. Uh, into oboe time. Um, and it does look like bamboo. They're round pieces of cane. Uh, most of 
most of it you can get from the south of France. Uh, they are starting to grow them in California. I've heard of some places in China and a few in Brazil. Um, but it's art art I'm going to say it wrong. Uh, but if you look up. Uh, cane. It's all cane from all reeds are made from the same plant. It's just where you cut it on the plant. He didn't so fancy in here. <laughs> well, it, <it's, laughs> it sounds fancy. I, it's it is. <laughs> it's one of those things where it sounds fancy until you actually have to sit down and like. Oh yeah. Little. Uh, yeah. No, no. Just tell us how fancy it is. It's, it's south of so France. Fancy. You go to south of France. You cut down oh, some cane. Oh, feathers. And it's, so, it's so nice. <laughs> so yeah, it, it starts off really, really big and wide, and then as it grows up, it gets narrower and narrower. And so if you cut for the bottom, then uh -huh. you get like bassoon reeds and uh, oh, berry sax reeds and things like that. And then the further up you go, the smaller the diameter is, and so the smaller the the reeds That's are. That's interesting. The pitch. So yes, I do actually buy pounds of cane See? from a field in France. She's crafty. Yeah, I whittle. <laughs> That's crafty. <laughs> I do the whittling. Okay. The whittling. So I guess the next thing would be the beak. Yeah. You so think? I think the most problematic area is going to be where it stretches down that way. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is like figure out a way you can cover the beak, but then also maybe like tack this down. Because here, here's the problem: is when you bend it around your face, it's going to want to pull flat right here, yeah, and then you're going to lose that beak shape. So I think what we're going to want to do is maybe like do a dot of glue underneath and then push it in so that it stays in that little crevice Okay. on each side, and then we'll do the folding around. Okay. So that way when it does this, it still has room to yeah, move around Yeah, so that bit. it still has the beak shape. Okay. Otherwise, it'll just make like a weird flat cone shape, mm. and then you don't look like a bird anymore. You look like a plague doctor. Or something. This is the same thing, kind of. But same thing. <laughs> you know, uh, less happy. But yeah, so let's let's do a little dot of glue yeah, like under right in the, under the fabric um, right in on the corners. front. Yeah, just to make sure that we can uh, keep those corners clear. All right. Pelham, we did awful things in here while you were gone. <laughs> He's like, stop! I don't want to know. I don't know if I want to know don't either. Burn <laughs> you were here for it. I know, and now I, now I regret everything. <laughs> Pelham's like, what did they do? There's just glue all over the table. Just glue everywhere. Just, just tons of glue. We did. We did kind of. We wrote secret messages in glue on the table. In the carpet. Yep. <laughs> Shelly's gonna come for for dragon talk, and she's gonna be like, I don't understand these weird messages on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag no stone unturned. I don't understand. <laughs> My wow! <stone> is so <laughs> loud. <laughs> Pelham just made a face like he heard it, so... I have a granola bar. Would you like a granola bar? I'm going to lunch right after this. It's okay. going to be okay. I don't know why, like, my stomach's just, like, trying to have its own show today. <laughs> Wants Listen to join to me. in the fun. I guess. No, oh, no well, you go first. All right. And... Glue. There you go. Yeah, look, they're all talking about bamboo in there. It's French bamboo. It is. It literally is. I think is. the bari is my favorite woodwind, says Dr. Cantrez. Ooh. I don't know what that is. I will, I will give you all an interesting thing. Uh, if you mm. ever run across a bassoon or an oboist that you don't like, <laughs> and you want to drive them nuts, and they're a professional because they have to make their own reeds, uh, ask them, hey, do you think Cain was better before the war? Oh my God! There, I just said something that nobody <laughs> is gonna get. But at some point, one of you is gonna ask that question. There will be some people in the chat who are like, bah, ha, ha, "Oh my God!" Yeah. Oh yeah. If you want to get a double read person on a rant, <laughs> I love it. You're like stirring drama that I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's the best great. kind of drama. It's the best kind of drama. Okay. So there we go. So there, it's tacked down in in the corners, Perfect. right there. Yeah. And so hopefully now, if yeah. Uh -huh. No, no, that'll be good. So when you, yeah, when you push this down, it'll stay in that crevice. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. So do underneath here yeah, now so next? Yeah, so now go around. And so okay. if you need to, like if it starts bunching up too much, like, yeah, like it will we'll over here, what we'll do is like... Cut off the extras. We'll, we'll make little darts. Oh, okay. Kind of like a dress. So like if this part's a boob, 
you obviously need to make like a cone shape that goes around it because a flat shape isn't going to go around a boob, right? This is you very understand. true. I'm, <laughs> I'm well aware of... We, we all have boobs here except Pelham. <laughs> Pelham, do you have boobs? <laughs> Pelham, like, would you like to join us in this nope, boob discussion? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is the best D&D &D so show there we go. ever. Okay. So if you, like, that'll help with flattening the fabric. And so if there's yeah. any other areas, like this one too... You may want to do it right there. Yeah, that's actually what I was going to say. So I'll leave the scissors over there for you. All right. So you can... That's always a mistake, but here we do go. <laughs> we'll do a tiny cut, and then I can make it bigger when I realize that I have not done nearly enough. It's always good to be conservative, so don't... I'm trying. Don't be, uh, you don't want to cut way too far and then be like, oh, mm-hmm, <laughs> that wasn't good. So I'm almost done with one of your little wristbands here. Oh, we can do multiple? Or am I doing them both on one wrist? Or am I doing um, Matt Mercer doing crazy? Two, one on each one, just uh, so you match. Matchy, matchy. All right. There we go. That'll work. And now I need to burn myself with glue. Oh, Inez is here. Hi, Inez. Hi. I have to say hi to my regulars sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no. I cut this ribbon too short. One of the reasons that you are a good streamer. I don't know. Oh, thanks. You participate well, these, in the action when you can. These people are like my, my weird internet family, so I like seeing them when they show up. My stomach's going to do the growly thing again any second now. Mm. I actually, if I had another mic, I could probably make my stomach... Mic your stomach? Like, go on command. I can make my stomach growl on command if it's in its current state. Just, you just It'll, take a nice deep breath and yeah. give your stomach a little bit of room to expand. And... Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> that. Almost did it. No, I oh, heard that. Pelham's <laughs> like, this is disgusting. You guys need to stop. You need to save this for Foley work for later. You know, you've got the bwa bwa. Now you've got stomach <sighs> noises. <laughs> I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine, right? <laughs> yeah, Inez is like, that's weird! But awesome! <laughs> Alright, so I think I need but to yeah, look. cut off some of this. This will just go around your wrist like that. Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, there's two, um, let me help. I don't wear jewelry, so that's okay. apparently yeah, I'm unable to in, do... Push in there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, that'll just, like bring the costume all the way down to the ends of your hands, yeah. and then, you know. And that's super out of the be, way. Yeah, and, and it's just a little easy thing just to finish the look, but it's not gonna be too bothersome. Nah, looks great. Yeah. So there's one. My stomach is, <laughs> God, nuts. I, I think I need to cut off a little bit of the chaff before I do the other fold over, or else it's, it's just gonna get crazy. Yeah. It's just gonna start yeah, to get crazy. Yeah, feel free to trim off anything that's in your way, so. Yeah. I think we're at that point. Go for it. Ah. How much more time do we have? A whole other hour. Oh my god. It's already been an hour. Well, maybe I'll have to make a mask. Well, because I'm going to be done here with your other thing in just a second. And then. I love our, our dual reactions to this because I'm like, it's already been an hour. Oh my god. And this is all I've been able to do. And you're like, ooh. It's only an we hour. We have plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> this will not take long. Well, I will continue to freak out about time. That's mm. I do that really well. That's good. I'm very Some good people at... don't freak out enough about time. I would like to freak out a little less. But that's that's the the classical musician. Well, just okay. Well, then in that case, we will um, operate with the assumption that we're just going to keep going until Greg Tito comes in and is like, guys. It's time for me to do my thing now. And we're like, but oh, we're busy. But that's at 2 o'clock, so at that point we might have gone a little long. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some time. All right. So I need to tack this down so it's out of the way. I'm going to cut off the excess and then fold over mask origami. Yeah. You're doing it, though. I'm trying. You're getting it. I'm trying. i got a good supervisor. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good manager, too. Also, Pelham. <laughs> no, if he really was our manager and supervisor, he'd be over here being like, "Really, glue all over the place? You've <laughs> Do made it a mess. better." Ow, 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 ow. 
Yeah, I'm burning myself too. Mm. Hey, it's okay. Love how we started off the stream like we're gonna be really careful. We're not gonna burn each other, and and now we're just like, lol. All right, I don't need the tips of my fingers. Yeah. Who cares? It's, it's yeah. fine. It's you fine. do your your threshold of like what you can withstand does change as you're willing to get the project done quicker. <laughs> I already practiced Obo today, Sacrifice. so yeah. I don't need the tips of my fingers till tomorrow. That's good. All right, there we go. That is tacked. It's tacky. And then yeah, you're doing it. I might just, instead of trying to cut off too much, I might just do some origami fun. I don't know how to do real origami fun. I, I, I have a, a friend who makes um, naughty origami things. I was trying to come up with a word that I would say on stream. Um, fun adult origami. Adult origami. Yeah, yeah. I have never heard of that. Oh, that it sounds awesome. It's the best. Um, <laughs> Are you familiar with, have you ever uh, read the, the comic, Least I Could Do? Or, no, um, I haven't. Looking for group. Uh, yeah, they do. Uh, the artist there does some amazing origami stuff, cool. usually for charity. So I, awesome. I don't feel bad about about. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, D&D is for adults. Absolutely. Most of the time, right? And origami is for everyone. Yeah. Depending on what you're making. <laughs> okay, so that I need to, I have now way too much stuff. But that's okay, because I can cut you this. You can always get rid of it. My stomach just won't stop. <laughs> Do you know what you're getting for lunch? Uh, no, I'm actually having lunch with Richard Witters, the art director Aww. of D&D, &D, who's a longtime friend of mine. And I told him we would go wherever he wants, so it'll probably be a sandwich place. Nothing wrong with sandwiches. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with That's, sandwiches. You can, you can always get amazing sandwiches, and even, even okay sandwiches are still really good. Mm-hmm. It's kind of hard to mess up a sandwich. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. Eh, that's, that's not true. <laughs> you could easily mess up a sandwich by putting all sorts of things on it, but if you're trying to make a good sandwich, you're probably going to be okay. I don't know. I mean, bread makes makes everything better, so I, <laughs> you really true. have to put a lot of bad. I, I don't even know what you would put on bread that I would look at and go, oh, you've just ruined this sandwich. Concrete. Okay, food. I don't know what <laughs> food items, what edible objects you would put on a sandwich. Well, uh, yeah, it's all like, I mean, what are you not willing to eat, I uh, guess. This is true. I'm, I'm pretty open with what I would eat on a sandwich as long as it's food. Yes. You know. <laughs> Go on, chat. Tell us what you Tell won't eat on a sandwich. Tell us what you won't eat. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare yourself, Pelham. It's going to get ugly in there. <laughs> oh, it's going to be amazing. I'm also one of those people that will put Frank's hot sauce on everything. Yeah, me too. Frank's makes everything better, even bread. Even bread. <laughs> even, even, even Frank's makes bread better, and there not much a, can make bread better. There's a bagel place near me. I was actually posting about it this week. Um, it's right next to my hotel, and uh, they do a garlic bagel Ooh. where they've literally minced garlic and then spread it all over the top and then roasted it on there. Nice. So you're just eating piles of garlic. Well, if my breath smells, that's why. Because <laughs> ah. I had one for breakfast and it was amazing. But they're Sounds so amazing. good and like they make bagel dogs with like jalapeno cheddar bagels <gasps> with Ooh. the dog in the middle and like, oh, just like they're doing bagel stuff over there I've never seen before and I'm impressed. Bagel artists. Yeah, they are. That is one of the things I miss from New York, is bagels. They actually, the their, their like slogan on the front of the building is uh, best bagels east of New York, <laughs> meaning like the whole world. All right, I, I respect these people more I know. now. They're actually really good and they're really, their name is Blazin' Bagels. I'll go ahead and um, okay, yeah. had, <laughs> make yep, yep. an ad for them. They're great and fast and they have like 30 different kinds of bagels. I had a French toast bagel the other day with like Ooh. raisin honey cream cheese on it. Nice. And I was just like, oh, this is the best. They didn't happen to have pumpernickel bagels, did they? Because I, I super duper miss pumpernickel. I think they do, honestly. Uh, they, they had like 30 kinds and like rye. Yeah, no, they have a pumpernickel everything bagel. And I remember because it was called the Pump Everything Bagel, and I was like, uh -huh. what? Uh -huh. I, it was early in the morning, so I didn't get the joke yet. 
because I was just like dumb morning brain, but I was like, you needed pump a bagel. everything. Oh, I get like, <laughs> there was a good delay before I figured that one out, but. That's one of my favorite things that I haven't really had much since moving out we here. We should go. It was just right over where we had lunch the other day. Nice. It's really easy to get to. We went to Lunchbox Laboratory in yeah. Bellevue. This is also a food stream now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I figured Pelham might know Snack what I'm talking eggs. about. That's a, that's a pretty well-known yeah. place. Well, so these are done. Ooh, So nice. you've got that. Look, we've my got... mask is kind of done. <laughs> I'm getting there. I, I, I it think, looks good, though. I think the beak is looking pretty good. Yeah, no, it is. We'll see. I like that it looks like bunched up fabric. Yeah. Like it looks, and it's gonna match your <laughs> uh, jacket. That's what we get for talking about. My stomach's about. getting louder, you guys. Yeah, yeah, so that'll look awesome. That'll definitely work we'll really put all well. The, yeah, look, with the jacket, all these accessories look great. It's an aesthetic. It I is. I enjoy. Yeah, you're gonna look like a, a, a bird showgirl. I'm something. okay with this. <laughs> I'm super okay with this. I'm gonna steal this Yeah, go again. for it. So, what Here, you, would you like a mask? You, dude, yes, a mask. I would. Oh, I'm gonna get real weird. I'm gonna go get for the it. other. I'm gonna get the other pair of scissors now. Oh, we're dual scissoring it. We're gonna. That's it. The stream is off the rails. Yep. Two scissors. What is this rated? <laughs> it's rated two scissors. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're not getting weird at all. <laughs> all right, I need to try to glue this in a way in where I'm not going to glue the this to... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got a, a mechanics problem here. Well, I just got to be careful about how it gets glued. If it ends up, um, if the end over here ends up getting glued down even more so it's more secure, I'm totally okay with that. I just don't want to end up with like the middle well, bit of so the elastic stuck to my eye. When you get to that part where it's gonna overlap, yeah. you can, like if you don't wanna go super short, you can always just like do a little slit. Yeah. And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slide it in like that. That makes more sense. Or you know, however, like I if. I feel like I should, I should be like, look, look at the brilliance of slits. Yeah, look. slits. <laughs> slits are good. <laughs> God. <laughs> This is a good stream, you guys. We couldn't come up with a way to put slubs good... in the stream. No, we, so we, we should have brought some slits. slubs to glue onto things. Where would we have put slubs? Not, Everywhere. Not anywhere I'm sorry. good. That was not anywhere good. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> it would ruin anything we tried to do today. Ah, no. The people in the in the chat are like, "What's a slub?" <laughs> I'm sorry, new people who don't know what slubs are, but it's an inside joke for Craft Hags watchers. I am sure there are plenty of people in the chat who are regulars who'd be like, "Well, slits let me are tell good. You. Slubs are good. Slits are good. Slubs are better." <laughs> I'm gonna no, cut, this is true. I'm going to cut this up a little bit so that it looks angry. You have your Craft Hags T-shirt now. Yeah. Slits are good. Slubs, Slubs are, are better. better. <laughs> hey, Watsy, do you want to? <laughs> Let's get that shirt going. Sure. <laughs> like, what? No. We're a family company. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're just slits and slubs. We're just talking about crafting. <laughs> Why? What are you talking about? <laughs> Where did your mind go? Yeah, so I'm just gonna edit this mask a little bit. Yeah, look, now she's got like evil eyes. Ooh, nice. It's a she already. And then we're gonna do angry brows. Yeah, like the, that was the, the one thing I didn't like about having to cut off so much of the mask because the, the top bit of it was, it was a little much. It's kind of got like a Frankenstein forehead thing going on. Which is kind of cool. It's cool if that's what you're going for, but. But that's not what I was going probably for. Probably not. But like, I, I kind of do like that it, it was a mask that came with eyebrows. Yeah. I was amused. Pre-angry Exactly. Mask. Or confused. Yeah. Ugh, this is hard to... It's plastic. 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 It's all right. If you don't like it, I've got several more. Because <laughs> there were people who said they were going to come and make masks, and they yeah. didn't show up, and they didn't make masks. They had meetings or something. Yeah, important. it's like they're doing work. Why would you do work? When you could come and get yeah. hot glue all over the yeah, studio. Yeah, this is great. They're all missing out. Yeah. Well, that's all right. They'll all be back for mini painting. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm trying to, are you okay? Ah. You gonna make it? It'll be fine. Okay. It'll be fine. My husband used to be a nurse. It'll all be fine. <laughs> we'll triage this situation later. Luke, I love you. I hope you don't mind. My fingertips are gone. I, have, I no longer have any. I don't need them anymore. No. I'm gonna do a little beak. Mini beak? A mini beak. Yeah. I would have liked to kept the full beak, but it got in mm -hmm. the way. Ooh. There were issues. I want to do like a, what are those birds called with the really curved beak? It's like an ibis or something. Oh, like the ones that, um, like, are you thinking of little tiny ones like hummingbirds that get pollen? No, they're like a crane that stands in the water Ooh. or something. They're kind of like big and ugly, but. Hey chat, uh, tell me if an ibis has like a, a this shaped. Please, someone Beak. Google search. Somebody Google it. Someone. Finch, toucan? Oh, man, they're already a... Uh, it's Ibis. You are correct. Thank you, Dr. Cantrez. Hey. Everybody else is like... Frit. I don't even know how to say that word. They're throwing out, like... Bird. Like, bird terms now that I'm... I don't know. Burbs. Burbs. All the burbs. When I was living in Florida for two years, because my life was weird... Uh, down in Florida, in these, the south of Florida, they had these giant cranes that I'd mm. only ever seen before in zoos because I yeah. lived in Buffalo, where there are, that doesn't happen. Yeah. I am not tall, and these were tall birds. <laughs> yeah. And I remember getting out of my car one day in the, in the parking lot. Um, you'd park, and immediately all these little tiny uh, lizards would crawl into your car for the shade yeah. and go looking for bugs. And then every once in a while, one of these giant cranes would come along and go hunting for the lizard. Under the car. And one of them decided that it did not care that I was still getting out of the car ah! and there. And so I opened the door and was face to face with a crane. Who was trying to get lunch. Who didn't give any yeah. care about <laughs> me. They just wanted to get under my car and go for the lizards. And I'm in the car like, what is this thing can kill me die. with its beak. It had one of yeah. those super long. Big birds in person get really scary really fast. Like even just like a goose or a yeah. duck. Sometimes you're like, uh, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Yep. That that beak is a one d eight weapon, and you are proficient <laughs> with it. And I I just don't want to get stabbed. Yeah. Here's here's my wallet. <laughs> Here's, here's my credit cards. I will buy you. Yeah. I will buy you a whole bunch of lizards it's at like the grocery a, a store. Bird mugging. Please don't. Please. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't live in Florida anymore because Florida. I'm sorry for anyone who lives in Florida. It's like I love Florida. Florida was weird. I know lots of people love Florida, but Florida is one of those climates where my body says no. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, I have never had a great time in Florida. Like, I mean, they have things to offer there, obviously, that I can see how other people would enjoy. But not me. Yeah. <laughs> I like that in Vegas. Like, just hot climates are uh, the worst for me. Like, I'll, I'll get like heat stroke in like five minutes because I look like this. You um, know? Like, <laughs> totally it with just, you. Uh, it's it's not good. If I could live in like snow all the time, I'd be down. Well, you know, if you move to Buffalo. <laughs> I used to live in Colorado, so. Oh, okay. I, uh, so I like had the fun that for snow. a while. Yeah, the fun snow. <laughs> I do love Buffalo. My parents still live there, but it's a lot of snow. It's a ton of snow. I think uh, one time I lived in downtown Chicago and we had lots of snow mm. and the whole city shut down. Mm. So we'll see what this looks like in 10 seconds. See, now that's amazing because like, just you cutting a different shape out, same exact mask mm -hmm. that has a completely different feel than this one or right, the other yeah. one. That, that's awesome. Oh wow, awesome. I look weird. <laughs> it's got a much more angular look yeah, to it now, which is super I kinda cool. I kind of look like angry. And my bangs are being poofy. Let's just put the bangs on top and see what that looks like. <laughs> The bangs make it. The bangs make it. The bangs, absolutely. I'm gonna wait for the bangs to... To catch up? Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Ben. Oh, that looks so dumb, I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> See, I kinda, I'm still not a fan of like, these big side things for me though. Like, I have a little face. Yeah. And I need little shapes on my little face or else it gets like, much. I can't handle a lot of like makeup either, or I start looking 
See, that's goofy. One of the, that's one of the appeals of this. Oh, glue everywhere. For me, is that like it means I'm not going to have to uh, yeah, wear a lot of makeup. That. Yeah. Yeah, it's a whole other thing. I'm not really. If it's I don't just know not, what like, I'm doing. If that's just not your jam, like, there's so many ways around it, and yeah. especially like for costume, like if you're gonna go out to dinner, obviously, you're gonna have to figure something else out because this probably isn't dress code at the nice steak restaurant you're going to. But you know, you're not wearing your D and D costume there. I don't probably. know. Maybe we are. Tell maybe him. we are. Tell them, are you taking us all out to a nice steak restaurant yeah. all dressed in costume down in L.A.? It'll I'm be sure. Great. Yeah, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so this one looks a little better. I'm watching myself in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, we should just get like a mirror or something. Yeah, let's this put that in. This studio wasn't, wasn't set up for people to do like glamorous craft work. You know what? A mirror and a few of those mannequin standees that yeah. always creep me out in, growth in, in department stores. And there those. you go. We need those. We need those. Can be done. Yeah. All right, so I've tacked this down knowing I was probably going to have to cut off a little bit, but I wanted to make sure. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, we're getting there. No, it looks so good. We're getting there? Yeah. See? I love that. Buzz chat. We're almost there. Yeah, and then we can like put ribbon on it, or we can like if you wanted to use like a trim to cover up like ugly like folds or something, that's, you could always do that. That's actually really good. Yeah, so, yeah I wouldn't like, have even thought about like that. Like if but you yeah. mess something up, we can always glue something on top of your mess up, and it'll probably look pretty okay. <laughs> but that's up to you. No, no, I, I we'll kind of like to... the idea of a trim, even just a little bit around the beak, maybe. Too. Well, yeah. I'll have to remeasure about the beak. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. But I, I really like that idea. But let and me... that's the other thing is you can uh, totally keep editing this um, even after you wear it to the stream. Mm -hmm. um, like, say, I mean, like at the stream, I'm gonna be dressed as scrummy, um, she's gonna be dressed up, but then obviously afterwards, if we plan to wear these costumes anywhere else, we're gonna be like, well, the pants were really uncomfortable, or my shoes were awful, or that mask just didn't work like I thought it would, and there's gonna be like afterwards changes too. Yeah. Um, and even just like after the first day, if you're wearing this mask and you're like, it's not working, I can't, here's a story for you. Story away. I was the goblin at the Stream of Annihilate, one of the goblins. Holly Conrad made the other goblin with me. Um, and Which I had was made, awesome. thank you. I made full sleeves of silicone, like with, like, like I sculpted and cast silicone. They had zippers up the, the inside and I painted it like goblin muscles and like we, it was crazy cool. But it was, uh, a really warm day in Seattle mm. uh, those few days and I was sweating so bad and I was like getting dehydrated and it was just oh, not geez. like you couldn't you couldn't work with those sleeves and I didn't yeah. know that until I had been doing it same with the legs actually I did full like legs that were sculpted silicone yeah. that were painted like goblin legs and stuff. It obviously made more sense to have just the hands and the feet and then paint my legs and my arms. Okay. So that's what I ended up doing. But so like the last day of the stream of Annihilation, I ended up just cutting the sleeves off at the hands. So all this work that I'd put into like the big muscles, you know, sleeves of the goblins, same with the legs, I just cut them off and they're like laying in a garbage bag in my basement now. Aww. I know and it was so much work but sometimes you're like I'm gonna die yeah. unless I change something so and that'll that'll be the same so like if you realize like oh my pants don't stay up we need to fix something or you know like there will be an issue that you weren't like thinking of and so the day after stream of many eyes I'll be flying back so we won't be doing an episode on Monday but then Tuesday instead we're gonna do craft tags that morning oh, that's and good to know. I'm gonna be doing like a here's what went wrong episode okay where like I'll, I'll tell you how it went I'll probably have a ton of cool pictures and and like video to share with you guys so you guys can just kind of we'll, we'll kind of recap what happened and like that's um, a good idea that is I super... mean but it's it's a super important part of costume making is editing for 
uh, future wear so that you don't have to deal with the same issues over and over and over, you know, yeah. just making it better for yourself. Um, and I do that with my clients and everything. So like the first time you uh, saw Dinar wearing the leather Dinar mask, yeah. like, that was cool and all, but then later Ryan came to me and he was like, "Hey, it was really hard. To, like, like he, he the mic was like reverbing in his mask and it just didn't sound great. Or he'd get uh. sweaty and he's on camera performing. And so we rigged this thing where it would like I used the inside of a welding mask and I like oh that's because it would flip so up. I thought that was up. super cool. And so now he can just like put it up when he wants to and the mic's great and people can see his face. He's He's a uh, his comedy and his timing has a lot to do with his face. I feel oh, like yeah. like his delivery is part of the magic. I'm trying to be quiet. You're earning your scars. It's okay. I'm trying to. I was. You're telling a story, and I was trying to be quiet. No, it's okay. Instead of going ow 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 ow. No, so now do I'll it. Go, ow, ow. But no, like it's just there's just like a million examples of like the way you would need to edit a costume so that it's better and you're not going to know until after we're done wearing it yeah. um and cosplayers know that they're like well i really need some insoles because the blisters are just too much and you know like Ooh, yeah. there's just a million problems that come up but yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and we're gonna see how uh how it all works out Ooh, no the, and that is these over here like attached to something it's every time I there we go um no that's because that's honestly a lot of my questions about costuming and cosplay and things are are kind of the day-to-day -day, how do you clean this because yeah you know you you want to wear it again and how do you you know how, how do you fit through doorways mm -hmm. and how do you you know eat and how do you and I know yeah. a lot of people will cosplay and they're like well I can't I have to take everything off but I feel like you no know, you totally can you just have to plan for that stuff for yeah. sure it's a whole other it's a whole other consideration like you can you can make the costume as cool as you want but then at some point it's like well can I wear it I actually have to live in <laughs> like, this for 12 yeah, hours I have to function so yeah there's a there's a lot of considerations to make, but they're all very important, and I'm glad that we're talking about it now because yeah. I don't get to talk about it very often either. And I think having a whole stream afterwards of like, all right, here's what worked really well, here's what looked good, and also like you've got the added um, the added challenge of your stuff has to look good in person and on camera. And yeah, on camera is a whole other ball of wax. Yeah, on on camera is a lot more forgiving because you know. I mean, it depends on, you, you'll know what shots they're going to get of you, and usually it's going to be, like, from the waist up, or, like, you know, like, if you're, if you're actually filming a thing, you know what shots they're going to get of you. It might be close up, it might not, but, like, for the goblin, I knew that they weren't ever going to be, like, you know, close up, because it's a mask. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, there's no acting going on in my face, so I knew that, like, I could be, I could skimp on some details here and there and whatnot, but, like, I also knew it was going to be a lot of full body shots, so the feet had to look good. Yeah. And a lot of times the feet are, like, a afterthought. But, yeah, on this stream it'll be interesting because, um, I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> We'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Well, they'll they'll be it'll be everything, right? I mean, it'll be I don't know. It'll be on stream, and there'll be yeah people, and there will be. You people. should buy your tickets. Yeah. All right. There's still tickets available we for can't, Sunday. We can't okay. even talk about most of what we know. Let's change the subject so we don't spoil something. I don't know what, what are I you know. You getting for lunch? <laughs> um, I'm getting a meeting. Oh, gross! But, but that's why I have no. It's. Good, good meetings. I don't get to be in the but office. But is it a tasty meeting? We'll find out. I don't you know what text, that means. What you should text mean? ahead and be like, is this meeting catered? Because I need oh, food. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure it's not being, <laughs> no, no. It is like a 10 minute, like super quick little fun <laughs> meeting. I And I have, and then I will hopefully find a, a quiet corner to be in, or maybe I'll just squeeze behind Pelham and I'll be on the computer doing, yeah. doing the chat stuff. So hey, stick around and I'll, I'll be back in the chat. <laughs> Because my husband isn't picking me up till five, so you stuck with me until then. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Sorry, Pilla. I can walk somewhere else, but I'm here. You're stuck with me all day now. I'll, I'll help clean up all of the mess. I'm really sorry. Okay. <laughs> He's like, no, you won't. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I will. I totally will. 
they leave the place, you know, so that they want to invite you Can you, you see through this? No. Nope. Oh. Damn nope. it. Nope. Nope. I was going to say that it would be really cool to make, like, a eye hole -less mask. Yeah, but no, you're going to need, like, a gauzy I'm going to need to see through it. I mean, or not. I mean, you well, could... let's see. Let's... Depends on what you're doing. But, you know. Oh, it actually works a lot better when I'm not looking at the lights. Like, the lights right here are blowing right into the, oh. you know. Blowing into? You know, when you blow light into something. <laughs> Shut up, I'm hungry. <laughs> My brain's broke. <laughs> we know what you mean. Yeah. Totally get it. Okay. But yeah, when the lights aren't pointing right in my face, I can see through it. So I'm going to make an eyeless mask. Ooh, <laughs> creepy. It will be creepy. I like it. I like it too. I love making creepy things. It'll be something out of a Guillermo del Toro movie. Yeah. Guillermo, hire me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please. I'm Man, this is hard. Covered in glue. I just, I'm just like pulling. You'll be pulling it off your hands for like a week. Ugh. You have that to look forward to. Yay. Now. Yay. It's all right. I'm used to little wood shavings being everywhere. I'm used to being like, yeah. oh, I was making raids this morning. It's just mm. a mess. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. used to it. It's a different mess. Yeah. So I'm going to see how quickly I can get this mask put together. I love that you're probably going to do that be... whole thing in like the next five minutes. I'm still going to be going, well. No, you're taking your time because you, you're you invested in that one. I'm just like, well, this is dumb. Let's, let's glue it quick. Also, I don't quite know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's all right. It's always better to take your time. We're almost there. I'm on what I think might be the last little bit of gluing. You have 30 minutes. I, I, that's not enough time. <laughs> Annie, it's going to take me forever. To You'll do this be last fine. Last little bit of gluing. You'll be fine. A few more time. We're going to have to delay the whole stream. Sorry, to, Tito. I need a whole other week to work on this. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hashtag whole, sorry, Tito. The, the whole event is canceled. Because <laughs> <laughs> of glue. All right. Glue. I think that's actually. Getting close. There's interior bits I want to glue down or maybe cover up. What was that stuff again that you were talking about that you could put on the Yeah, the moleskin, moleskin stuff. Yeah, to put over it. Yeah, so that that's just something, something that, um, like, if there's a spot that's really bothering you, um, just you can go to, uh, like, Rite Aid or some like a pharmacy anywhere, and it'll be in with the bandage stuff, I think. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you do find a spot that's really bothering you and you're like already down there or something, it'll be it'll be easy to find. Yeah. So you can handle that. Is that cool? Is that cool? Am I gonna burn my face? Not gonna burn my face. All right, here we go. I was like, is it cool? It looks cool. Oh no, I mean like. I like it. Face burning. Oh my god. And your face isn't even burning. Ah, that's great. Not yet. <laughs> I'm waiting for the stream to catch up. Yeah. And she's gotta see it. There we go. See, now I'm going to have to go to a whole bunch of costume parties. <laughs> That's just, okay. Just so I can use That's this fine. all the time. If you must. Yep, I must. Do what you must. I'm required to. <laughs> all right, let's make sure. Now I need to get all the little bits of glue that have just ended up yeah, all the over the place. Yeah, the is a whole other phase. But then, yeah, you're going to have to figure out how you want to decorate it, if at all. I don't know. That is an excellent question. I mean, and also, like, we've got a couple weeks before it, so if you if you want to take all this stuff and, like, think about it, you totally can if you don't want to, like, be pressured into a decision right now because it is going to be on your face while you perform, and I wouldn't want to hurry yeah. that. So that's fine. If you want to, like, just mess around here and, like, hold stuff up and see what, what you think, like, take your time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, what with the being on my face thing. That's, yeah. that's smart. I don't want you to, like... Be like, well, I glued some stuff on it, and now I have to wear it all the time. <laughs> the other you know. thing that it might be worth doing is like put on the mask, put on the headband, put on the jacket. See the whole what it ensemble. needs. Yeah, for sure. It might be. It might be too much if I go crazy yeah, with it. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to like make it insane. Well, I mean, it should be a, a version of insanity, well, but yeah. not a uncomfortable. It needs version to be a, a level of insanity that your character would actually like. <laughs> So, she's pretty crazy. Well, she's oh, she's, that's good. She's sane in that um, 
She makes good decisions incredibly quickly. <laughs> and then just rushes into things. Because she's a bird. She's there we go. Scrummy makes bad decisions and never cares. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the stream now to catch up again. Yeah, look at it. That's a weird look with the t-shirt and the mask. Yeah, with the t-shirt and mask, it's a little... It's a little weird. It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a... It's a <laughs> It's a style choice that oh even people God. in Seattle might have a problem with. No, no, they don't care. No, they don't no, care. No, they don't care. <laughs> nope. That's hilarious. In a weird way, it's actually more comfortable now because I've got the, um, most of what's touching my face is the, the this fabric. material that is folded over. Mm -hmm. So it's actually slightly, also, well, no, there'll be lights. I was like, also, we're under bright lights. Oh, no way, we're going to be under bright lights. Yeah, we will. Mm. I think, I don't know, will we? No, no lights. <laughs> it's gonna be pitch black on the stream of many eyes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they call it the stream of many eyes, is because everybody will be looking and you won't see anything. Everyone better have dark vision. That makes oh. sense, right? All the dark vision. Please don't get glue on your outfit. <laughs> oh look. Nah, no, that's okay. Just totally this shirt can be washed this awful. easily. I, like, that is a cool. I didn't look at the front. <laughs> So now it's just like a, oh, it's just gonna be like anonymous. Oh, weird. Ooh. Ooh, guys. It's kind of funny with the the frill, like when it's up, it almost yeah. looks cooler that way. No, I, just... I'm totally gonna like use that shape, like inspired by that shape. I'm gonna put feathers in the back. Oh, there you go. So that it's like, Fring! yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, if you wanna put feathers anywhere, like, I was thinking about that originally, but I feel like if I you do... You do have a lot of feathers on your head now. Yeah, like if I do the feathers here, th it then is it'll, a lot. it might be... That might be actually... That might be actually too much. Too much. Yeah, we do want to like... And distract from this Be able awesomeness. to look at you and like know where your face is. Mm. Because it's just like feathers in it. I'm just getting glue and feathers <laughs> all over me. It's like it's Great. It's walking into spider webs. Great. Wait, leave a message and I'll call you back. <laughs> just spider webs. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so like, I think we, we definitely don't want to detract from your face because that's where we're supposed to be looking and enjoying, yeah. you know. But if you like like a shape or if you feel like something's missing, we can always add feathers. Feathers make can it be crazy. Added. Yeah, but I think I like the idea of like giving it a try with with the jacket, mm -hmm. with the you know, with the whole ensemble together yeah. and be like, all right, make this some, is missing something. Make or, some informed decisions. Exactly. Or it might be the kind of thing in where I mean you talk about looking at the face, but I'm I'm because it's a a full costume mm -hmm. with a performance, I'm yeah. kind of okay with like not seeing a lot of my face, which the, yeah, the beast that's true. gets rid of most of it anyway. Yeah. So No, that's a good point. See, I really like working with people who are going to be wearing it because they have a lot more insight as to like what we're trying to communicate with mm -hmm. the costume. So I'm, I'm glad you said that because well, the like, all black what. and silver. So yeah. I feel like you know what? I'll just pull it out. Pull it out. Am I gonna? Nope. I'm like, am I also gonna pull out my the microphone? Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't pull out the microphone. We want to make Pelham's job not that hard. I'm not gonna play oboe because Pelham would kill me. Because he doesn't. He'd be like, "How am I supposed to mic for people and for?" Or we could be like, "Pelham, deal with it." <laughs> I feel like that'd be really nasty to no, do. It's fine. But at least visually, you can get an idea of. Yeah. Like, so this is the instrument, and so. Ah! I really like. I like all this shiny silver. It's gonna look really good with your. Shiny costume. Oh yeah. Here, put a put an arm in there. All right. Actually, let me. Yeah, let's put it all. On. I do feel like I have to because of the beak. Like, yeah. Step carefully. Yeah, don't rip out your mic. Or just step on things. But yeah. So if anybody missed the beginning, mm -hmm. there will be a cool little clasp right here. I will not be wearing a, a dungeon mistress T-shirt underneath. It will be, it will be slightly more. Yeah, and then you got your hair thing. Yeah. Ooh, and let's put this on. Here. This, we'll, we'll do like a... This has turned into Lauren's we'll dress-up day. We'll do a day. visual test. This yeah. is very important. Yeah. 
cool. Now I can hear my stomach grumbling. All right. So, uh, <laughs> and the, I mean, the reed will be there, but like, there and you all go. The little, all the silver looks great with all the silver trim and stuff, and like, and this is actually kind of poseable wire trim. Oh. So if it like starts poking you in the face, you can bend <laughs> it back and it'll stop. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. What do y'all think? Look oh, at I'm that coat, everywhere. they say. Oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. Gonna. Wow. The mask she already also made. gives your voice lots of volume. That's funny. Oh, that's just because the microphone is right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, with the, the mic, I'm just, back. I've already messed up Pelham with, with sound design, apparently, is making my... Pelham, do better. <laughs> God. Yep, but that's... Just kidding, we love Pelham. That's it. It that's looks me. so good, and I can even see you. It's... <laughs> <laughs> This is funny. There we go. Yeah, All right, let me. Man, that looks awesome. Very carefully. I'm really excited. I am too. But yeah, so if you want to wait on um, your mask, like oh. just finishing it off. I totally forgot to take off that. That's okay. <laughs> it's put together wanna, with hot oh, glue. I'm already gone. So. That's true. Like if, if it falls apart, we glue it back on. That's the fix. I feel like I'm going to have to get used to being able to take that on and off yeah, by myself. You'll but get used yeah, to it. I will. But so, do you want to distress your jacket a little bit with some paint? Because I'm we can. fully prepared for that right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's have, do it. Because I, I we have totally, twenty more minutes. I'm so, gonna move the mask and the headband. Yeah, no. Let's let's make a pile of things you need to take with you. Uh, like the oboe. I'm also going to put the oboe away. Yeah, if you're gonna be here for a little while, I'm gonna put that button on that we talked about earlier, and then just send the jacket with you and stuff. Okay. Um, well, actually, I think there's a couple other like threads and stuff I need to tie off. So hey, maybe I'll maybe I'll just bring the jacket with me and send like the pants and everything else with you. But whatever you need. So let's let's get my bag o stuff. Yeah, because I've done. And then we'll go. The only distressing I know about is um, I've done a tiny little bit of mini painting, so I know a bit about using washes to make things look yeah. distressed. Yeah. No, that's what we're gonna do. Just right on your jacket. Okay. So that makes sense. it sounds scary, but it's not. It'll be fine. Maybe all of this sounds scary. Uh, feather, 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 feather. Having a feather party. Mm -hmm. Oh no. jeez, they're everywhere. Oh no, no, no. Here. Failed with that one. Mm. Like... Sorry, Pelham. Sorry, I'll vacuum Greg, later or Shelley, something. Sorry, I'm really sorry. They're gonna be like, what happened in here? Well, I mean, in fairness, here. I think they know what happened. They in know here. what happened. I, d I think they might not yeah, understand the funny. full, the full consequences of what has happened. Yeah. <laughs> here we can put the, the masks in there. Cool. Just yeah, all... we'll figure all that out later. Ah, all, all right. right. So um, distressing time. I need to run and get some water. Okay. But I'll be right back. I'll sit here and entertain the crowd. Yeah. Oh, Pelham has water. <gasps> Will you just put a Are little in there for us? Are you allowed to put that on the stream? Is that allowed to be on the stream? Yeah. Oh, OK. Sure. They don't know what, what's happening. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to be super There's careful. There's no secrets here. All right. I'm going to unplug the glue gun. Oh, yeah. Because that's Basics. important. Acrylic color. This is a lot of black. I guess that makes sense. We're gonna be watering it down, okay. like so much. Okay. So, um, if you want to hand me your jacket, sure. I prematurely put it over there. Nah, that's fine. We're just gonna like such a little amount. Like this is a coffee, <laughs> a coffee cup lid, and that's just one little doot. One doot is the measurement that's here. So cool. I haven't really had a chance to see the back <laughs> at all, so I can feel it. But. It'll, it'll look cool. All right. We'll have to trim those little things that hang down too far, too, because that's going to get obnoxious. It'll have, it'll, it'll so all come together. Let's see how we can, uh, how clean we can keep this table. <laughs> Do we want to get some paper towels since we're using paint? We'll be fine. Um, okay. I've done this in hotel rooms I trust often. You. So basically what we want to do is we want to get some water here and just the teensiest amount of black. So we're kind of just making discolored water. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot like washes for minis. Yeah, for it is just, it's just a wash. So we're just mixing in the paint, keeping it off the table. I'll wash the table later. <laughs> 
So you just want to make sure you don't have any like big spots of paint that are going to come off on your jacket and then make like a dot. Okay. Because that sucks. Um, dots are bad. Dots are bad. We want washes. So we've got a nice clean brush with dirty water in there. Okay. And so let's let's start on the back. Um, so how do you decide, practice. like, oh, well, this so, needs to be dirty? So see how we have this nice seam here? Yeah. Nobody's going to see that unless we highlight it with, like, some shadow. Okay. So we're basically just finding places where dirt would collect. Okay. To bring attention to those places. Okay, um, that makes sense. Yeah, so, I'm <laughs> kidding. Dirty water everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's all fine. So yeah, let's. We already owe Pelham so much, how much? So we do have a dot, we're just gonna be really careful. And so we're gonna end up with a really soggy jacket, but that's okay. Let's just get some of this. It'll dry. Yeah, so we, we basically just wanna put dirty water into it. Okay. And then we'll wait for it to dry. Wow, that's a lot. Oops. That's a lot here. What we're gonna do, because that isn't really working very well. Just we're make gonna, the entire cup of we're water. We're gonna make dirty. a big cup of dirty water. There you go. <laughs> Things you never thought that you'd say yeah. on the stream. We're just gonna make a big giant we cup just of need dirty one water. One cup of dirty water. Yeah. No one's allowed to drink out of this anymore. It's like it's like a potion or something, right? A potion of, of of dirty water of seam enhancement. Yeah, we're gonna put a lot in there. Oh wow, we're gonna. Oh, well, it is a big cup of dirty We're gonna water. make. Yeah, there's a lot of water. Huh? How are you, Chat? I'm just gonna. I feel like is that a been... feather floating around near the chair? Is it yes. one of the floaters in my eye? <laughs> Maybe no, both. I, I think the answer to uh, is that a feather for the next three weeks. If we are in this yeah. room, the answer is yes. <laughs> We're just gonna uh, hashtag blame craft tags. Yeah, um, the I can't <laughs> say your name, but it is just standard artist acrylic, like Liquitex, the cheap stuff. Um, you could obviously get fabric uh, paint. Um, there's a lot of ways you could do this, like with dye. If you did want to be able to wash your garment again later, um, there are permanent options. We. Uh, we're just trying to get this done. So yeah. Well, we've already decided this is not the kind of thing that's going even without the paint. It wouldn't go into a washing machine anyway. Right. So, so none of that really matters. So let's see if this is dark enough. We do have. It's super not okay. Paint. Okay. Listen, paint. Listen here, paint. It's one of those things where it's not enough until eye. it's way too much. Yeah, probably. This is the other thing you can totally do if the washes aren't working. Just get some paint, no water, and then like rub a lot of it out. Dry brushing. Yeah, dry brushing. Ah, my tiny little bit and of then, paint knowledge coming through. Yeah, so especially if it's already wet, yeah. it'll go in really nicely if it goes in at all. Oh, this paint is just trying to embarrass me today. That's all right. That's okay. You're doing fine. I promise it usually, that's way too much. I promise it usually works. Maybe this fabric is like paint resistant. Yeah. <laughs> paint resistant fabric. Oh yeah, so we do we actually need quite a bit of paint, but like you can already see how it's Tinting the thread. Yeah. Um, this fabric actually really is resisting the paint. It's kind of hysterical. That's good though. I mean, if it was too yeah, there you go. too sensitive, we would have sneezed at it and it'd be covered in paint. Yeah. Yeah. So just use like really light dry brushing strokes or a wash or something. And we're just basically adding dirt um, without actually going out. And that's the other thing. Um, if you really wanted a uh, real look, uh, you could just go wear this into the dirt. And I have done that. Just go um, roll around in the, yeah, in the like, flower bed. Like especially if it's a really dirty character. Like, I mean, be careful where you're gonna sit afterwards if mm. you're like covering yourself in mud. But sometimes that is like the best way to do it. 
real world, yeah, real mud. Yeah. Like uh, I dressed up as Nahiri, who is like a a rock sorcerer type person from Magic: The Gathering, um, and she's covered in dust. And obviously, I couldn't get dust to stick to my pants and stuff. But so what I did was like I threw bricks at the pants, and they're like leather pants, so like they snagged and they looked like awful, but it looked like she had been rolling around in a bunch of rocks. There you go. Which is what we needed. And we can do the laces here and everything. Just make sure we rub it off. So we don't get too many big things. But then uh, spray paint's also a really good way to, they actually have spray fabric paint now that I just saw. Ooh. And so if you need like a dusting of dust on your pants, they've got like gray uh, spray fabric paint. And you can just like, and it'll just look like you've got like a dusting of dust. It look like there's there's a lot of ways to add distressing. That kind of detail, yeah. Yeah, but so look, this already. Let me see if you can see in the. Hey, they don't. Tiny. Tiny, tiny little window, but yeah. yeah. No, I mean, even from from here, I can see the detail, yeah, you and that's going to show up. It's super shiny, so you're not going to be able to see it super well. But let's lift it up for the camera just really quick so you guys can get a, a good look at how... Uh, and this is a really great um, way. If you... Here's another way to think of it. Even if your character's not dirty, adding the shadows that you would normally see, like, think of yourself as a video game character. Mm -hmm. They add the shadows on the characters. So, like, Borderlands is a really good um, example. They call it cell shading. If you, like, Google cell shading cosplay Borderlands, you'll see a lot of girls who have done their makeup the way that they draw those characters. So, but there's, like, cartoon lines on their face. We're kind of doing that, but not as harsh. Yeah. We're, we're adding the shadows, we're adding the lines um, that would uh, even normally just get blown out by lights. So, oh, <laughs> I'm actually getting paint all over this table. I'm so sorry. But yeah, like, sorry, Paula. we're just, we're adding in the shading that we want to be there no matter how we're lit. Yeah. So that makes in, sense. in bright lights, you're gonna look really clean and like, you know but even now you're gonna look dirty with all the lights on you. It also does something nice where it kind of tones down the shine. Oh yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. so you do look, here's the fun part It though. looks lived in now. Yeah, It looks like real in. clothes. That's a, a really good way to say it. Yeah, let's, uh, okay. Here's something I really like doing. You take it on the, the really shiny bits and yeah. you just, wipe it off on top. But like that already looks way better. Yeah. Because now it's not like, oh dear God. It's just like, oh no, that's shiny. I get it. Now it's less Vegas showgirl yeah. and more actual. D and D. Yeah. Like real world, somebody's used to this sort of look. So we'll get crazy on this sleeve and then we'll yeah, do the other sleeve. Just the difference right yeah. there. Yeah. So hopefully that shows up on camera. This sleeve's good, this sleeve's less good. <laughs> yeah, and obviously I didn't even need to water down the paint as much as I did, because this stuff takes a lot of paint. And then like you can do a couple little dots of like, oh, she, you know, stained herself. Yeah. Or, you know, just this is how you add your backstory and kinda is like you say, well, she's she's uh you know, making her way, you know, earning dollar by dollar, you know, she's she's not gonna have a pristine outfit. Nope, seen one too many fairs. Yeah. One too many street corners. So we need more paint already. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> See, it, it just sucks up the paint. But yeah, so if you wanna take this one. Yeah, I'll grab the other sleeve. Yeah. Here, let's just put it right there. <laughs> we'll okay. hang on to it. And then anywhere that you find a seam. Just go to town? Just go to town. And like if it's too thick, we can always uh, wipe it off a little bit more. Or we can like dab it with water so it looks a little bit more like a stain and 
like rinse out any spots that get too heavy. And the cool part about this is you can go really light at the beginning and it make it really subtle, but then after it dries, it's gonna look completely different. Yeah. So um, if you want it to be heavier, you can just go in again and do the same thing and do like, you could even layer in colors. Like for scrummy, I'm gonna be layering in lots of browns obviously, but then also maybe I'll do a pass where I just take like a sickly yellow and you know, rub it all in everything so yeah. it looks rotten and then like see how that mixed with the brown and then maybe it's getting too yellow and I look like I'm actually diseased and so we have to <laughs> add in some red so there's some more life to it you know um, take your time and it doesn't all have to be done on the first pass but then that way we can really perfect the look yeah I do like how that tones the sleeve down yeah, quite it's, a bit more. Because like, if it's too flashy, it's just gonna look like just girly. Yeah. And like, girly's great, but like, we need some dimension to our girliness sometimes. <laughs> like, unless you're just like a, a non-dimensional beauty queen character that has, you know, no personality to offer. And you know, in that case, a pristine, no nonsense, gorgeous garment would be great, but like even if you are a beauty queen character and you've got like a little snarky side to you, you're not gonna want just a basic outfit. Yeah. It's gotta look like it's yours. Except now I wanna make a bard that's a beauty queen. That's, oh, me too. That'd be fun. Can we have like a whole show where we just play beauty queens? College of Glamour. Yeah. There you go. Ah! That would be so funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah definitely so, like... these, so these seams already just look more real. Yeah. Less, you know. Less like a costume. Less like a costume well, and more like somebody's clothes. Yeah. More like my clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally lived in. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm going to have to rinse off Pelham's table before... Greg Tino comes in here. What time is it? We have three minutes, so Ooh. we're perfectly on time here. Yeah. Do you want to, let's clean ourselves. Yeah, that's probably a good idea here, considering. Let's stick that in the water Pelham gave us. Thank you, Pelham. Everybody in the chat say yeah. thank you, Pelham. He's been incredible thank you, Pelham. babysitting us today while we ruin the studio. <laughs> while we make a mess. But yeah, so I'm so gonna excited. I'm gonna add the little clasp that we measured earlier. I'm gonna continue to do some distressing on your seams. If you like, like this level right here, of distressing, just yeah. like a little depth to it. I can do that on all the seams, and then that way it all yeah. looks great. Because I even kind of like super, this this level. Like yeah, I like that that little worked darker. In. Yeah, yeah, I can do Definitely. it as dark as you want. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so then you've got your mask to finish. I'm gonna send fun stuff with you, so you can do that at home and take your time. And, and shoes. And shoes. I gotta got figure shoes out shoes. to figure out. I think that's it. Um, next week, I'm gonna be doing craft tags from home. That'll be like a last minute, oh dear God, what do I have left to do stream? So I don't know what it'll look like yet, but it'll be entertaining, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be um, fun. And then we have the stream of many eyes that next weekend. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, thank you for coming on. This was thank so you. super fun. Thank you for doing this. I love, this is amazing. I love making things for people, so I'm so happy I could do this for you. And you're going to look crazy cool. It's going to be awesome. Thanks, and I am super, super honored that you were able to do this for oh, me. Thank I appreciate you. it. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning into Craft Tags. Thank you, Palom, for babysitting us. You're amazing. Uh, stay tuned. I think in an hour we'll have something involving Greg Tito or something. But Shelly Mazzanova will be here. Oh Yay! my god, no way. Actually, is she? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what? <laughs> I had a <laughs> moment. <laughs> Check out Craft Tags on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Danny Hartel. This is Oboe Crazy if you want to follow her for more oboe shenanigans and ask her about French bamboo and things like that. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody. We're going to go bye-bye now. Goodbye! Palomet.